Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to cover the tying of white four-part Turks head knots. Now I have done two videos covering white three-part Turks head knots and this is one that covers four-part Turks head knots. We're going to focus on Turks head knots tied using enlargement process number one. Let's get into it. Now for demonstrating these Turks heads, the setup is always going to be the same. I'm going to have a mandrel, in my case a PVC pipe, onto which I have attached a rubber band. A piece of paracord is going to be used to tie the knots. One end is going to be tucked under the rubber band, while the working end will have a lacing needle attached. The lacing needle is not absolutely needed to tie these knots, but it is very useful. With the set, let's get to the demonstration of these knots. The first knot that we're going to tie is going to be the four-part three-byte Turk's head. This knot is going to be used to recap enlargement process number one. In its essence, this knot is more of a square Turk's head than it is a white Turk's head. This is because the difference between the parts as well as the bytes is only one. So this is going to be our warm-up knot in which we repeat enlargement process process number one and we're going to upgrade this process when we're tying the actual wider knots. I'm going to grab my paracord and I'm going to make a turn around my mandrel. Then I'm going to come over the standing end like this and then around. We are now at the spot where we start enlargement process number one. To do it, we're first going to double up the strand going towards the right side. So in this case, we're going to double up the standing end. We double it up by traveling alongside it under one. Then we're going to travel towards the left side and in enlargement process number one we usually go the opposite of this strand. So the opposite to the strand that's going towards the left side. To do this we're going to travel under, then over. Like this. We are now back to the standing end, which we have doubled using this strand. So we have two parallel strands. We split them by traveling the opposite of what these two strands are doing and we travel between them. So we're going to go over, then under. Like this. And again, in enlargement process number one, when traveling towards the left side, we go the opposite to this strand. So we're going to start over, then under, and then over. Then, all we do to finish the knot is place our working end next to the standing end, going under one. After tying our warm-up knot, we're going to continue with a proper white Turk's head knot. We're going to tie a 4-part 7-byte Turk's head. To start this knot, I'm again going to take my piece of paracord, do a wrap around, come over the standing end, then around again. So just like in the previous knot. At this point, I'm going to double up the standing end, again just like in the previous knot, 
And now I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to take my working end and move it down a bit, then travel with my working end over this strand. So over. Now at this point, I'm going to continue with enlargement process number one. So I'm going to first double up the strand going towards the right side. So I'm going to double up the standing end. I'm going to continue by going the opposite to the strand going towards the left side. So under over. Then at the next byte, I'm going to double up the strand going towards the right side. So this one. To do this, I'm going to travel over, then under. Like this. Then finally, at the next byte, I'm again going to go the opposite to this strand going towards the left side. So I'm going to travel under, then over. I now have a set of parallel strands that I need to split. The first set is going to be the standing end and the cord going parallel to it. I'm going to travel between them and split them by going over, then under. Like this. Then I'm going to spread apart the next set of parallel strands and I'm going to split them going over, under, over. Then I'm going to spread apart the next set of parallel strands and I'm going to split them going under, over, under. And finally, I'm going to split the last set of parallel strands going over, under and over. Now I simply place my working hand next to the standing end and this completes the knot. We have tied a 4 part 7 byte Turks head. Now to drive the point home, I'm also going to show you how to tie an even wider 4 part Turks head. So this time we're going to tie a 4 part 11 byte Turks head. I'm going to tie this knot very similarly to the previous one, but it's going to be a bit wider. So again, I'm going to take my paracord, do a wrap around, come over the standing end, around again, then with my working end, I'm going to travel parallel to the standing end. So at this point we have the same setup as in the previous knot. We are again going to do the trick, but instead of doing it once, we're going to do it twice. Now we're going to need a bit more room here, so I'm going to move my working end down, 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 almost all the way to the standing end, like this. Then, moving back to the standing end, I'm going to take my working end and I'm going to pass over this strand. So you can see that I passed over. 
Then I'm going to go parallel to the standing end. Like this. So I did my trick once. Now I'm going to do it for a second time. So over this strand with my working end. Then double up the standing end. We're now going to do enlargement process number one. So from right to left, we always go the opposite of this strand. So under over. Then from left to right, we always double up this strand. So we're going to go over under. Then again, from right to left, we're going to go the opposite of this strand. So under over. And again, from left to right, we're going to double up this strand. So over under. And one more time, from right to left, we're going to go the opposite of this strand, so under over. Now at this point, we're going to have to split the two parallel strands going through the knot. So we start over under in between the standing end and the strand that's doubling it up. So over under. Next, we need to find the two parallel strands here. Like this. And we're going to go between them, going over, under, over. Then again, find the two parallel strands and go under, over, under. Then find the next set of parallel strands and go over, under, over. And the next set of parallel strands. Under. Over under. And the final set of parallel strands. Spread apart the strands and go over. Under over. Then place your working end right next to the standing end and you have tied your knot. Now the knot is a bit distorted so I'm going to work in some slack into the knot to make it look better. But all in all, this is a proper 4 part 11 byte Turks head. So guys, with this I have shown you how to tie various 4 part Turks heads. We only covered enlargement process number 1 and a video on enlargement process number 2 is soon to follow. With that said, I hope that this tutorial wasn't too hard, thank you and see you next time.